Reaching the end of chapter two, let's summarize a little bit of what we've learned about expressing our discrete states in our ket state, our ket notation, and our matrix notation. And part of why we're pausing here to do this is because up till now we've been focused on spin. We learned spin one half, and then we met spin one. And that spin one meant we could start to make slightly bigger matrices. However, we are going to soon be meeting other types of discrete states, for instance, an energy basis. And so we need to make sure that we understand how to generalize this away from just spin. And I'm referring to this as discrete states because in a few chapters, we're going to move to a continuous system where we start having integrals and things like that. So the first thing is that when we're thinking about our, our basis and our operators and our states, we're thinking about eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So remember that this is going to be your operator. The operator is key. These are our states. And again, here it's written in the ket state. And then this is going to be our eigenvalue, which is going to relate to measurement. So again, don't just think that we're doing linear algebra here. We kind of are. But this is fundamentally about measurements relating to an operator. So we can work in different bases. And if we are working in the basis where our basis vectors are the eigenvectors of our operator, then our operator is diagonal in the basis. Now, our diagonal operator is something if you think about, for instance, when we use the z basis and we think about spin z operator. But as you've seen, we can be working in the z basis and talking about operators measuring x and y. So there are going to be times that we have some system that we're interested in. We have different operators that have different eigenvectors. And so you choose what basis you're working in. So for instance, you might be working in the energy basis trying to talk about another operator that's in fact not diagonal in that basis. So when it is diagonal, your eigenvalues lie along the uh, diagonal of this uh, matrix, and all of your other entries are zero. And we represent it this way, showing that this can be a very, very large matrix. But as long as it's a discrete system, it can be expressed as a matrix. So each of our eigenvectors in the basis where they're diagonal is simply one, and then the rest are zeros. And it should be pretty obvious by now that this is going to be a normalized a normalized vector. So our second entry would be 0 and then 1 and then the rest zeros. And the size of this and the size of this depends on how many different discrete states there are needed to actually span the space. So again in the case of energy we might start talking about infinitely uh, big matrices if you have an infinite number of possible energy states. For spin we've seen spin 1 half has two possible states, spin 1 has three possible states, there are other spin quantities that have more. Now, so hopefully this so far is pretty clear. And again, know that it doesn't have to be diagonal because we often work in other bases. So it, the question is always, what is my operator? What is my state? And what is my basis? Then last, we've met the projection operator, which is going to help a lot. We really do need it. And the idea of the projection operator is it allows us to take a state that we have and transform it into a new state after a measurement, but it also is going to allow us to really convert the basis, and a large part of doing that is using the fact that when you take the sum of all of your projection operators and add them up, that that equals the identity matrix. So we can pop that in and use that as a technique to actually change the basis. So we can always do this in different bases. So our projection operators can in fact be written in a different basis. It doesn't have to be the basis where they're diagonal, and this will still work. So again, this is kind of a general summary of our notation. Spin has been our, our example system, but we're soon going to be applying this very widely.